You are still watching Waze. Now, International Tiger Day is celebrated annually on July 29th. The tiger enjoys the reputation of being the largest of the world's big cats. A tiger can be easily identified with its distinctive orange and black stripes on its face and body. International Tiger Day is celebrated across the globe so that all of us can raise awareness for tiger um, conservation. The day aims to build a worldwide um, system that will be dedicated to protecting tigers and their natural habitats. Now, a safe and thriving habitat for tigers means that we conserve other species and our forests too. Uh, through International Tiger Day, we can work uh, for a future where humans and tigers can cohabit peacefully. Oh, see this one, so cute. <laughs> but did you see the video that went viral on social media in India where a tiger was just strolling in the neighborhood? The girl actually brought her phone and she was, she was videoing the tiger. I said, ah, uh, <laughs> they are cohabiting. But that's very rare. Wow. Well, Honestly, area. because it, the tiger was just strolling past the neighborhood. I don't, so you missed that video. Well, I missed I'll look it, for it. But I would like to think that it's all these jazzy people. Right? They, yeah, you know, it's not normal, my <laughs> darling. <laughs> It's not normal. The animals are still animals. Well, God they created us to dominate yeah, and right. subdue. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Let the, the animals show here. <laughs> eh? see what you will do. Okay. Eh? <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> you can't even outrun it. That's the you problem. Can't, exactly. So, huh. we, we don't, so she we was, as in, it was, it was catwalking and she just took, took her phone and she was videoing it. I said, ah, ah. Well, these people are this the guy, highest. You know, the truth is that what you said is what came to my mind. I said, this can only It's be not jazz. normal. It's just jazz, period. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> They're animals. All right. So what did you find for us in the news? Oh, gosh. Okay. So today, where am I? Passengers grown as one hour flights hit 75,000 naira. Hmm. So, in February of 2022, domestic airlines in Nigeria raised the prices of minimum fare to 50,000, which elicited a negative response from stakeholders, particularly passengers. In today's Nigeria, it's been reported by Punch newspaper and other news houses in the country that domestic ticket prices issued by airline operators are going for as far as 100,000 naira for economy. Many travelers are lamenting this recent update to airfares. According to the report, economy class tickets from Lagos to Abuja via Arik, United, Nigeria, and Air Peace cost 150,000, and other airlines have followed suit. So, this rapid increase is being attributed to the increase in price of aviation fuel, otherwise known as Jet A1 fuel, and the difficulty in obtaining Forex. A liter of Jet A1 fuel that was selling for 400 naira is now being sold for 800 naira per liter so that's double the price many nigerians have voiced their displeasure and called on the federal government to act to relieve the burden pushed on average nigerians so for me i just think you see the last part of it says that um, this burden pushed on average nigerians Mm -hmm. Flying is no longer a thing for the average Nigerian mm. because I was in Abuja last week and um, it cost a lot of money. It cost about 185,000 for the ticket, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For for, for, return, for a return ticket. Return ticket. ticket yeah. 185. Mm. That's that's crazy mm. to Abuja. A one hour flight. So back in the day, we used to even go to Ghana for mm -hmm. 80k. Mm -hmm. You know, now we're going mm -hmm. within Nigeria and we're spending so much mm -hmm. money. And you know the sad thing about this flight thing is actually a if double was... double whammy. Because some people actually could actually go by uh, via the roads or rail. Yes, that's you know? the thing. So if the roads were working safe. properly, if they were safe, then you have Safety. an alternative, then you don't have to fly. But as yeah. it is right now, you know, let me tell you, when I was in Abuja, they said that the airlines were shutting down. So um, I think... Um, Air had already shut down. Um, they shut down Dana. So many airlines were shutting. So I was like, I hope mine does not shut down. If I, mm. I would never come to Lagos by road from Abuja, never. Mm. I would stay there until they come back or we get a private jet. I'll be you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. No? Because, it, you know, so that's where I was going with the conversation mm. that, you see, it's no longer luxury. People that used to fly it's before, eh? people that used to fly before, they were flying based on luxury. Yeah. Because they didn't want the inconvenience of driving yeah. or going by a road. Things have changed. But where we are now as a country, flight is no longer luxury because almost that is almost the only safest. Yeah. If, if you pray if, if, that yes, the plane is in good condition, it's the safest yeah, mode of it. 
moving from one part of Nigeria to another part because of Nigeria. Because if you don't pay 100 and something to go to Abuja, you're you going to pay ransom. ransom. You pay Thank ransom, you. you know. Mm -hmm. So that's, I mean, so that's why I don't understand where we're going. I mean, my story is not even so palatable as well because it's also a, it's also a like, lamentation. It's a lamentation day. <laughs> let's, let's have it. Since we're talking inflation, let's go there. So, do you know that subscribers now, right, to pay five percent tax on calls and data? So, the federal government has disclosed that Nigerian telecoms subscribers will pay five percent tax on calls. SMS and data services. Now, according to The Guardian, the Minister of Finance, um, Budget and Planning, Zainab Ahmed, disclosed um, the tax at the Stakeholders Forum organized by Nigerian Communications um, Commission in Abuja. Now, Ahmed, who was represented at the event by Assistant Director Tax and Policy, Mr. Musa Umar, said that some countries in Africa, such as Malawi, Uganda, Tanzania, amongst others, had all keyed into the same revenue generation pattern. And she said the issue of revenue is not something that we need to shy away from, right? Our revenue can no longer take care of our needs as a country. Also, Nigeria is no longer making enough money, they hear, mm -hmm. in oil revenue. Hence, the attention is shifting to non-oil sectors. Oh, more people should cook kill us. Like, the government should cook finish us. I mean, I was lamenting the other day when we were talking about what she talked about. Mm -hmm. Um... And saying that comparing the economy that they did way better than previous administration. I was comparing it. Gas that we used to buy at maybe 4,500. I mean, how much were we buying gas? Now it's now 10,500. I filled my gas last week at 10,500. Right? Um, is it flight tickets that you're talking about? Or it, what exactly? Is it the bread that we want to talk about today? Or the, is it bag of rice? It's gone crazy. I bought, a, I bought a 5 kg bag of rice for 15,000 air. Meanwhile, we used to buy... 50 kg bag of rice for 8.5, 15,000 naira. So now you don't want to add this. And I keep, I, I, I keep saying that where do they expect this money to come from? You know, our revenue is not going up. Our salaries are not going higher. When people come like this to speak about things like this, I'm like, anyway, I don't blame you. You don't go shopping. You don't know the price of milk no. in the market. You don't know the price of the bag of rice. Mm -mm. You don't do the shopping yourself. Mm -mm. So you can come back and say your administration is better than the last one. Wake up. Mm. Your Wake up. <laughs> So, you know, somebody, so I, I just to scan through the, the comments on the comment section. Somebody said, I hope we won't start paying salary to federal government directly. Very soon. Say so when there is no, uh, no any way to obtain uh, anyone for, from us anymore. Because at this rate now, it's like federal government just tell us that. Google you know kill what? Us. <laughs> Let's just be paying you salary every month. Google Come on, doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, honestly. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. But hey, mm. that's the conversation we're having today. Today, I just want to chill and lament because we need to lament this lamentation yeah. well. Uh, uh, dollar is seven, 720, I hear. Ha, Father, Lord of heaven. <laughs> yeah, Father in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> About time to take over, honestly. All right, so we'll take a break. When we come back from the break, we'll have our <laughs> guest with us as we discuss the impact of inflation in her business. Stay with us. We'll be right back.